So this is a chicken update. When we moved to the farm, there were three light Sussex hens, as you can see there. One, two, three. And then we got Roger. So Roger's in the back there. And Robert picked him up from a farm near Terralgan that was rehoming some roosters. So Roger came home on Saturday night and we popped him in the roost with the girls. And the next morning, three not happy hens. Don't think the girls have ever met a boy. So they're not particularly happy with Roger. The first few days they wouldn't let him eat and wouldn't let them near him. And any time he comes near them, they chase him away. So they're a little bit bossy. The last few days he's been getting a little bit closer to them. And if you watch them, you'll see him there. <laughs> he's frightened of them. They chase him away. So anyway, they're in the pen. Um, and then in the morning I feed them. In the morning, this morning I've got some nice fermented grains that I've been doing for them and then I let them out and they spend most of the day in the orchard and there's stacks of grass here and bugs and so basically free ranging but I still keep them under cover um, rather than putting them out in the paddock. When we get more we might do something a little bit different but yeah at this stage welcome to the family Roger. He's a good looking rooster. He's only about eight or nine months old so the plan is that uh, Roger hopefully will be a daddy to many chicks if the girls um, let him do what roosters are supposed to do and fertilize some eggs, so we'll see. Uh, it might take a little bit of time, but the eggs that I'm incubating, if any of those uh, grow into chicks, they're the same breed. So if these girls don't take to Roger, then Roger hopefully will have some new chickens little babies to look after and that might work better that way so yeah I'm just about to feed them and let them out but what I've been doing is separating the food so that Roger at least gets some because if I put a couple out then the girls just every time he comes towards the food they just chase him away he's a very bossy and chickens like it lots of Animals have a pecking order, haha, uh -huh, pecking order, and the hen that comes up and eats out of my hand, there's two that will eat out of my hand, um, she seems to be the bossy one, as you can see, she'll follow them around and push them out of the road. So let's open them up and feed them. Alright, so I've fed them, and Rod just come back in here, and I might just shut the gate for a minute and let the girls pick on that and then they also have some layer pellets I gave them but in the morning I tend to give them a, a nicer food so I'm trying to spend a bit more time in here coming in here just to get Roger used to me so that he's he's going to be a nice rooster so the last thing you need is a aggressive rooster so if I just separate them for a while and let them have some good food but he did pick something out of the little tray that it gave to the girls. And look, you can see them going, what? What are you doing? Aren't you letting us in here, Boss Roger, around? So this hen house um, needs some pimping for sure. It's an unusual and it's got some compost bins in there that... It's really not where compost bins need to be, so we'll remove those. And the old hen house, really it's got some manky little layer boxes. They're not laying at the moment, but I'm going to fix that up. But eventually I'd like to build a couple of new hen houses at the back there. So, and remove this little thing here, clean it up. So it's at the back of the, the berry patch there. So, yeah, needs, needs some work, but we'll get there. <laughs> the hens are not happy that Roger has some, is having some peace. So what did I give them this morning? Some fermented grains, a little bit of um, cooked sausage as well. Because they, they like meat. They like... Oh, hello, I know you're not happy, are you? 
I know, you want to get back in here. So, let's hope eventually they welcome Roger into the flock. Or we'll just have new babies for him to look after. But roosters, apart from fertilising your eggs, are good protective factors for your flock. And they also find food for your hens if, if your hens are getting on with them. And fertilise your eggs. He's not crowing yet. We haven't heard him crow. And I don't think Robert's looking forward to that. But I, I don't mind the sound of a crowing rooster. Let's revisit that in a few months when it's happening at 5 a.m. But it's just sounds of the farm, isn't it? So that's beautiful, Roger. Welcome to the farm.